Hey man, I think I'm about to uh I think I'm about to uh think about making that switch, man. I seen your boy Marcel Jacobs, man, he switched over from the loan jump. I think it's time, man. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I, I got smoke on my boy. <laughs> I don't care who you Fred, Bracey, Fred, <laughs> Christian. I got smoke for them boys. <laughs> hey, what'd you think of him uh, in his first outing with Puma not wearing the Puma spikes, yeah? Oh, he ain't had that juice in his shoes. Do you feel like they're going to make him a shoe? And that's why for he... Because sure. you've seen Karsten's Absolutely. shoes, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you had to laugh because his shoes. Block. <laughs> got a block. Dad, I don't know what the fuck is going on. This shoes has got way too much going on. It but, looks uh, like you could turn them on, dog. Hit <laughs> 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 you know, that button on this. That's what I'm saying, dog. <laughs> this shoes is doing way too much, dog. I was like, this had... shoe thing is getting crazy, though. It is, it's right? So, it's getting ridiculous. It's getting, ri it's getting ridiculous, bro. I'm not familiar with the shoe game in the jumper world though is it that crazy in that world too around like 2016 nike started to go crazy with the jump spikes though like they started to add like a bunch of stuff into them like air bubbles and things like that like different types of foam carbon plates they started adding like a toe spring and i was like i seen christian wearing them I'm christian like, taylor yeah. Right. yeah, he had the he had the Nikes. Okay, I'm in Pumas. Right, my Pumas is the stock joints from like <laughs> 2000 and then like 10. <laughs> like, my shoes ain't got no juice in them. So like, <laughs> no juice. Bro. Right. So, so I'm like, oh, I wonder what that feel like. But you know, <laughs> them Nikes is just different, bro. <laughs> You see what Yo, he Nike. did? The dude, the dude just signed with Puma, bro. <laughs> Look at Marvin. Marvin's like, yes, sir. <laughs> hey, your boy just signed. Boom, just signed. Got his check in the mail mm. and went to Europeans and wore Nikes. Just Had signed to. with Puma. And he looked like a new man in them shoes, dog. I can't even lie. <laughs> <laughs> I see the video yeah. came out this week of this dude running 1040 barefoot. <laughs> That's the tightest shit I see. See that? I wouldn't mind a barefoot track meet, dog. I really wouldn't mind a barefoot track meet. That boy feet strong. Hell yeah, dog. That boy feet strong. I don't want no problems with him, yo. He came out the blocks yeah. and everything. He's not punching hey, nobody. Man. It's all kicks. Yo. <laughs> Do you watch a lot of track and field? Uh, it may, it's hard, bro. It's hard to watch track. Um, <laughs> That's why is that such a task, dog? It's like a, you gotta like. You gotta have a good yeah. breakfast. You gotta have a good breakfast for you. <laughs> for you to you gotta speech, get on the computer. Hell yeah, you gotta get a good, good night's nice rest yeah. the night before, dog, because you're about to go on a search to try and find this be a hacker. Hell yeah, a hacker. dog. I feel it's super fun. accomplished, yo. <laughs> Put that on my resume, yo. I, I can find, I can find these European views on the record. I mean, rivalries yeah. throughout an extended period of time. You and Christian yeah. went at it, dog. We made each other so much better. Did y'all ever talk shit? Because he seems like a really nice guy. Nah, I talk shit he, probably he more with Omar. Say he talks Christian. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Christian talks stuff. <laughs> I, I go back and forth with Omar more than I would Christian. Okay. Though, like. Oh, he seemed like he would want to get into it, though. What? Omar. I love that. I love it, too. But, you know, Christian more, he more so, like, he'll just stay... Come yeah. like you know, just bottle it up and then jump and then jump crazy on you <laughs> in the sixth round. Yeah, come back and go crazy. That's another reason you know uh, they don't really know nothing about track and field and track and field world because they're trying to get rid of the sixth round for everybody, dog. That's the round. What? That's the round, dog. The, what the f is the final three, what? dog? That that's Anything dog. Can happen. Exactly, yo. You can go from eighth to first just off of just figuring it out. It's crazy. I, I hate that they keep toying with our, you know what I'm saying, with our, with like, the field events. It don't make sense. But Ugh. we go, hopefully we just, hopefully we just, like, turn up, everybody turn up, and they just give us some more respect. Yeah. It's a, it's a phenomenon to see someone jump really high or jump really far. But it's not getting the camera time. 
Why right. is Nicki in the camera type, you think? Uh, they just don't value it, man. It's just something that, like, the power at B, they just don't value it. If you go to a track meet and you at a track meet and you watching the jumps, you're going to be like, damn, that shit was crazy. Like, Hell I yeah. See some, I see some crazy shit today. All, all the events. But, but I'm, I just know, for me, when we be in the, on the runway, we be having shit turned up. We got six attempts. You understand? Know like, you can go and do things in between and, like, you could just really, you could, you could throw the shot put, do something crazy and like turn up, you know what I'm saying? And like, and then you get another chance and then somebody else get a chance. In the hundred, you run, you run, you cross the line, boy, you do what you do and then you gone. The field events, like you own the stage for a period of time, right. repeatedly. The stage even is yours, you, dog. Even if you're the sorriest one out exactly. there. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. You're gonna have the stage. You've got to have it, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, a lot of people have been in the hundred, Doc. You're on the stage, but that many some people ain't even gonna know you were there. You gotta have to remind them afterwards. You know? <laughs> we had Devin Allen on a couple weeks ago, and mm -hmm. his, his uh, he was talking about the whole false start situation. That was bullshit. That was not a false start. They tried his athleticism. Basically, they was like, "You can't be that athletic." That's what they said. I don't like I don't like the censors. And and to be honest, they're they're, they're messing with the jumps too because. They they changed the um the plus the plastic no scene. scene right yeah. so you, you can't even now. you can't you can't go over at all it's if over. your foot roll and it hit that laser it's a foul it's one or two meets a year that decides your fate for real and those are the meets where these these rules are enforced like the the toughest you go you go to like a diamond league meet you might not have a laser but you go to worlds they gonna have that laser. You go to Olympics, they're going to have that laser. It's to try to get you sport, yeah. <laughs> so think about it, though. Now, you can't even. If you're, ir <laughs> look, if you're irresponsible, if you're irresponsible, you can be out for two years, Doc. How will you ever see the sport give you two years, a two-year ban for being irresponsible, yo? I was, I was just telling my coach, I said, uh, you saw to just track our phones. I would be cool with it. You'd be all right with that? Yeah, wherever I'm at, just come. You you mean to tell me every time I go anywhere, I got to <laughs> remember, like, put a sign on my door, like, hey, Yo, I don't need to. You're, like, you're one of those few athletes talking sense. Because there's some athletes like, well, it's a part of the job. It's 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 not a part of most professional athletes' jobs to say where you're going to be every second of the day. And if you change your mind, you got to put in the app that you're changing your mind. Uh, what is this, dog? That is not easy. You You mean to tell me every time you go, anywhere you got to remember oh like i want to go to my mom i want to go stay at my mom's house and just hang out with the family just off of just like man i need to go see my mom right not even like planning it out nothing i just want to go right now like and i gotta update i'm gonna be at this location for the next 24 hours like dang <laughs> it's absolutely like, ridiculous yeah well, I, you see a lot of people get that get tested maybe once or twice a year talking about, well, I'm doing my whereabouts and I've had no issues. <laughs> yeah, they not they not checking for you, sir. Yeah, dog, you, ain't even, <laughs> you can't even miss three tests when you get tested twice. <laughs> What's it like being on the circuit with, with your wife or with your girl? When I got wifey out there with me, like, we going to, you know what I'm saying, we going to Louvre and Paris, we going out, like, Going to Rome, to the Vatican, all of this stuff, just because like that's that's my wife. We go, it's like we on vacation, low key. It'd be cool. Other than that, I'd be in the room, bro. Like, cause I just be like, on some like I don't want to do nothing. I'm locked in. Like, she get me out of that a little bit. People say they say their whole lives to go to these places, bro. And like Queen had to actually like tell me that, cause for a while, like when we first got together, I'm like, no, nah, I'm I'm cool. I'm not going nowhere. One of my first meets. I'm a, so my agent was Angelo Taylor agent. So Angelo, he like, hey man, let's, you know what I'm saying? Let's go get some food. This is actually the day I met Queen actually in Stockholm. Mm. So he like, hey, let's go get some food. I come down, he he down there with Queen. So I'm like, damn, I think you got me on, you got me on a third, I'm third wheel. I'm like, <laughs> what, what's going on? And he like, no, no, it's cool. Go to, uh, we go to like TGI Fridays, we go eat. And then we come back. We we dropped Queen back off at the at the hotel and then he like, Hey, let's uh you know what I'm saying, let's just go see the city. <laughs> Bro, I'm out with Angelo. I'm out with Angelo till like three, four in the morning. <laughs> we get back. 
<laughs> when we get back to the hotel, I'm like, bro, I'm like, it's over for me. Like, I'm about, to, I'm about to jump terrible. Get out there the next day, you know, I'm trying to get going. I'm jumping bad. I'm talking about, like, I'm jumping, like, 760. I'm on a runway, bro. I see, I see, I see the 400 lining up. I'm like, oh, yeah, Angela probably feeling it, too. This man, Angela, go out here and win. That's, yeah, here that's what I always like, heard about him, yo. I'm like, how did he do that, bro? Like, yeah. <laughs> we was out. We was out. What you think she carry, man? I think she's super talented, bro. She had a video come out this week, right? It was just of her on her Star Athletics page, the, the training group. Yeah. And the video was only about 30 seconds. Just her doing some drills, some runouts. But something <laughs> about the video was just... She didn't even do nothing. She just being her. But something about it was like, <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? I, I need more of these yes athletes. There's something about her that I want to watch. I think if she comes to the game with a different mindset, she she is it's a wrap. Like, she can't really be touched because she's that talented. You ever talked to her? Yeah, yeah. We've had long sit-downs before. She's smart, bro. She's super smart. And she has she, to be. She know what's going on. Right. Like she's not, she's not dumb, and she really knows the game. Like mm -hmm. she know all the bullshit too. So she has a mindset of like, like y'all not about to get me. Like how y'all done got all the people before me. I need to protect myself, and I and I respect that. Like I'm not about to get done like the last people that have come through the game. You know, because. Mm -hmm. People come through the game, people be here today, gone tomorrow, and, and never heard of, fall off the face of this earth, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, and, and, and have been gold medalists. It's a cold game. You're 31 now, right? Yeah, this I'm 31. Is, you still got some, you still got some, 31. I'm trying to go. I really feel like I'm catching a second wind, honestly. Like, I, I had tore my Achilles, and I finally feel like I've gotten back to feeling like myself. You know, when did so that I, happen? I, uh, 2019. End so of 2019. you and Christian both tore your Achilles. I did mine 2019. He did, he did his in 2020. Wow. I finally feel like myself as far as like the way I'm moving is back to feeling like me. Yo, you're the first field of that person that's been on sprint culture. That's how it would have been cool if Justin was here as well. Hey. You're the first. It ain't only about Love. sprints. It's just, you know. For our perspective and us becoming more knowledgeable because spring people are usually very narrow-minded and i'm willing to admit that and you got to come back especially when justin comes back you gotta come up because i know y'all got some old stories y'all probably want to get into and yeah. you know what i'm saying it would it would no, be a lot of fun a big bro he's been a big bro yes, yeah. Yeah. next time i get on though i'm gonna be a sprinter though i'm switching over Elf for yeah. elf. <laughs> i told funny. you i got smoke for these boys i want all the smoke <laughs>